crowds filling the streets of Gainesville protesting the appearance of white nationalist Richard Spencer. I'm hoping that Richard Spencer comes outside and sees hundreds of people that don't believe in what he's saying. One carrying a sign that reads, hate is a mental disease. Even a dog was spotted wearing a no Nazi t-shirt and a plane flew overhead pulling a banner that reads, love conquers hate, love will prevail. Back on the ground, a few Spencer supporters also made their presence known. There's been no violence today in Gainesville, but plenty of people passionate about their views. Just within the past hour, Spencer finished his speech and the audience began filing out of the Phillips Center on the edge of the campus. While we are covering this event, we are not broadcasting Spencer's remarks because of the content. There's been a large police presence all day in Gainesville, including these snipers perched atop a building watching for any potential threats. And this mobile field force team from the St. Johns County Sheriff's Office traveled to Gainesville today to help. Spencer took questions from the crowd in the Performing Arts Center. It's a 1,700-seat theater, and many of those who were there shouted him down. We have multiple crews in Gainesville. We begin our coverage with Tarek Minor. Tarek. Well, you know, Mary, uh, here in Gainesville, uh, you know, this is the first time that Richard Spencer has spoke at a university since the Unite the Right rally, which occurred back in August at the University of Virginia in Charlottesville. And you may recall there was a lot of violence after that event, and one person died as a result of being hit by a car uh, during a protest. So far, so good here in Gainesville. And many people say that is because Governor Rick Scott got ahead of this and declared a state of emergency for Alachua County putting and activating those resources into place, which includes 500 federal, state, and local law enforcement officers overseeing the crowds. As you mentioned, not only is there a strong police presence on the ground, but there are also snipers on the rooftops. Police are seen using drones in the area, but in the streets, there have been several heated conversations between Richard Spencer uh, supporters and protesters. We spoke with students who have mixed feelings about the large number of police protecting this event. It kind of makes me feel safer, but at the same time, it really doesn't because I feel like this should have not even have occurred. This has not, this should have not had even happened. This, he should not have even been allowed to be here. The only uh, real incident, the arrest of this man, 28-year-old Sean Ridge Mohan. He was arrested for carrying a firearm on school property. He told investigators that uh, he is a security guard for a member of the media, but still there are no weapons allowed in this secure area. 